Today on the Justice Court, the plaintiff Oyetunji Omobolanle is asking the court to compel her husband to be responsible for the upkeep of their children. All right, court in session. Honorable Judge Fumi Asaulu presiding. Please be seated. Your Honor, this case is between Oyetunji Omobalanli versus Oduyomi Samson. That is one of those. Thank you, Aki. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Oyetunji Omobalanli. Yes, Your Honor. You brought it to your me, Samson, to court. Yes, Your Honor. So what happened? He's my husband. Oh, he's your husband? Okay. So what happened is, so... Last year, we had issue, which leads to um, violence. So, and it keep coming. So we both agreed that we should go our separate way. But he said we'd be paying for the children's school fees and upkeep, which is, he didn't do anything. And I reported him to women right close to our area. So they begged me and... We closed the case. We didn't show up again. But the same thing keep coming because he has another woman he's bringing to the house because it's got to a certain time that I have to leave the house for like three months. And I keep calling, telling him, see, I can't be paying bills for two children. He said I should take them to public school. Those kids are still small for public school. And my first child is... She just clocked six last month. The second one will be three by July. Six years and three years old. Yes. He said, you can't afford... I said, okay, when you know you can't afford this bill, in the first place, why do we take them there? Okay, let's change their school to where I'm staying. You said no. That I should not worry. You'll be paying for one. I'll be paying for the other one, which I agreed then. Now, okay, since we are sharing the bills now, then they are upkeep... Everything they will be needing, we have to be sharing it. You said no, I have to face that one myself. Later, he came up that I'm having an affair with some men. That's why he can't cope with me. Okay, even though I'm have, having any affair with any man, those are your kids. You have to take care of them. He said I should go and tell those men to take care of them. And this issue, because we've been married for like seven years, our wed marriage will be seven years uh, by November. Along the line, he has to tear our marriage certificate. That he's not more interested. He packed my stuff out so that I should uh, go to wherever I wanted to go to that. Because uh, it, it was this afternoon that I heard. He was telling my friend that me, he saw tissue paper and then uh, used condom. So that's why he had to pack my stuff outside. And according to the tissue paper, it was from my uh, child school. They requested for tissue paper. So I bought two and I kept one inside. I didn't know about the condom he was saying because what I know he accused me of that he saw soap, uh, saw soap all this hotel small, small soap, that where did I got it from? And I told him, see, this uh, boy is the one that brought it to my shop and the um, house soap has already finished then. So I just took two out of it. See, you know this boy, just ask him that, who has the soap or who owns it? He can confirm, he's a small boy. And he, he even used the soap to bathe too. Later, he said uh, he, he's from hotel. That one man took me to hotel. That that's where I brought the soap from. And you, you have a girlfriend that will be threatening my life. You even send me a message that I should stop coming to the house because your wife might be around. The girl even sent me a scan message that she, she's pregnant. And that's not the first lady that will be sending me such message that they are pregnant for him. And I said, okay, I'm even tired of beating. There was one, uh, one time that he beat me. Like three months, I can't see. I have to be using glasses. See, there is this mark here due to his beating. And I said, I'm done. Just take care of your children. That's what I need. Okay, so what do you have to say to all this? Let me, first and foremost, let me start from, uh, from the beginning. When we were, actually, when we got married, it was fine, it was cool. When did you get married? That was 2015. Well, literally, after two years, 
uh, normally I, I don't used to use our phone right from, right from the beginning. That day I was like, I wanted to do something on, online and my phone, my phone was bad. Because can I use your phone to do, to do this thing? Reluctantly, she gave me her phone. Unfortunately for her, her boyfriend sent in a message. Meanwhile, she has told me she's traveling to Bado to go and see her father. That was on Thursday. She said she would be, be going on, on Saturday. I said, no problem. So the message came in, how, do you, how are they going to meet, how, how they are going to make their move from Lagos to Ibadan. And I called her, come. That was, that was um, almost five years ago. Look at this message. Ah, I wanted to, I wanted to give you something. Ah, this is, and that, then I opened the shop for her, where she was doing makeup. And I called her that. We, both, we were both using that, this thing, that shop. So I was doing barbing at the front while she was doing makeup inside. Uh, come, this thing you are doing. Almost every week, you tell me you are, you are traveling, you are traveling. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not comfortable with this job. So to that, I started having issue. That was five years ago. I started having issue over, that, over, over the guy. The guy's name is um, Kola Adine. So I started, started having issue over this guy. And I told him, I told her that, that I know you cannot drop this guy. Probably because probably he's giving you money or something. So we had issue that was very, very, you know, very, very serious. That she had to leave the house to, to, move, to move, move into her mother's house. So after like two weeks, my own parents called that. And they are still alive that they can still resolve it. So they called myself and I said that we should come to our, our own family house, which we went. And we got there, they solved your issue. We came, we came back to the house, living as husband and wife. I was in, you know, once that it settled, I've forgotten about the issue of uh, somebody sent me a message, da, da, da. So two years ago, I was, I, was, I was at home. I came back, I came back from, from office. I was in the sitting room. When my daughter came to me, my first wonder, Daddy, I know my mommy's password. That was during COVID. So she brought the phone. When I opened the phone, when I unlocked the phone, I saw the same guy and our conversation, telling the guy how much he lo- she loves the guy. The guy telling me as well that. This one, the way this thing is going, it seems I'll, I'll collect it from your husband completely. Now she now said, you just don't cash me. Oh. That's our response. Oh. I laughed. I called her, babe, see this thing. Look at this message. Look at this conversation. You know, as a man, I overreacted that day. I slapped her. But she told me uh, they, they were not dating, but they were about to start dating. They were about to start dating. Said, I asked her why. She said, I, uh, I have no child attitude. I said, fine. I used to give, I, I, provide, I provide your, your, your meals. And I pay, you are not paying any, any bills in, in, in the house. You are not paying any bills on the children. I'm not doing everything. I pay all the bills. To the extent that if she, if she buys something from, um, from our neighbor that sells uh, school stores for the children, she will, when I return from the office, she will tell me to go and make the payments, to go and pay the person. I said, no problem. But I've been doing that. No, I've not been complaining. So, last year, I took her, from, I took her to a fashion school, fashion home, to go and learn sewing, which I paid. After learning the sewing, so I bought, I, last day I took a loan from my office, it's 20, to establish her. So I bought machine and, and I got her, I, and I rented a shop for her, which, and, um, which I just like, at least if you are busy, you don't have time for the color of a guy. I never knew, I just opened the, another access, another, this thing. So the guy keeps coming to the shop as well. No day I was passing by. I was on bike. I saw the guy. I'm like, hmm, this one? They don't know anything. So I went to. I called her on phone. She went. To, she came to my mother's home. Ah, she. He, his wife wants to make uh, this in cap. That's why this other. That, that. I brought uh, his wife. He, he was with his wife in his shop. This is ah. Okay. What's that? You will respond later. No problem. Let him finish. So, but after like two weeks, she told me she was traveling. 
to Ibadan again. I said, ah, now you are traveling now. So you go to the uncle now. That's why I told her, oh, you are not going to, to go and meet Kola. I said, ah, no, ah, I don't want to do something to Ibadan. She went. And I told her, she, she shouldn't stay long. She went, she spent like a week plus, when she came back. And I asked her, how come, why do you say this long? So they shouting, giving me, raising her voice. So the issue was told that she had to leave the house again, to her mother's house. So, and she left a phone that she got from Easy Buy. So, I now pick up, my phone was bad again, I put, I fixed my SIM inside her own phone. So, as, as, I, as I put on the, uh, the, this thing, so, their chat started popping up on the phone, on the, on the messenger. So, she was telling that guy that, ah, this is, this is serious now. I told him that, I told her, tell us that, ah, don't mind him, we cannot leave you. Samson cannot leave you. And just be cool, be calm. So, after the old chat, the next thing was, babe, let's go tomorrow. So, I called her. I, uh, the guy was just shooting his shots. Uh, he was trying to see, because we are having an issue that he can take advantage of that. That's why, he, if this person, this, even if you guys have not been doing it, you know, you know that God to tell you, let's go and do that tomorrow. Okay, saying that they should go come on. and make love the following day. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so the issue was, was still on, but our parents, our own mother and my own, and my own parents too, came together to resolve the issue again. So, during last year, festive, uh, during December, during Christmas, she said she, she was traveling to Ibadan. I said, you cannot go. I'm a Christian. And fortunately, uh, my property gave me, gave me 50,000 naira for the festive stuff. But I told her that, I didn't, I, 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 I didn't tell her. I just said, you cannot go to Ibadan. Uh, you have to stay by me, Christian. I don't want to, to eat on Christmas day. Okay, I should go and buy rice from your Amulika or from your Sherry. So I, you cannot go. She said, ah, she, she, she will go. I was going to stop her. That like, if she goes, I should do my worst. The least I can do is to take her stuff out. And she went. The third day when she returned from Badon, she went straight to her mother's house. She started calling from her mother's house. She started calling. Her mother, her mother took called me. So they came to my, they came to our house. I said she would not enter my house. I said I said I should do my worst. So my landlord said my my my, my landlord came from from his own apartments. You know, as an elderly person, he tried to resolve the whole issue. But ever since that day, I decided that I will not I will not eat her food again, and I will not make love to her because I know my life is not safe with her. So since that December up to date, I've not been eating from the house. Are still living together? Yeah, she packed her things two weeks ago. Two weeks ago? Yes. The plaintiff, Oyetunji Omobonali, alleges that her husband abandoned his responsibilities over their two children after they both agreed to separate due to frequent disagreements leading to domestic violence. She said Samson already has other women in his life and those women are harassing her. The defendant, Oduyomi Samson, claims he had to move his wife's belongings out of the house due to infidelity. He further mentioned that he obtained a loan to set up a business for his wife and claims that the repayment of the loan has diminished his capability to support the children's upkeep. Judge Fumi wades into this matter. Don't the two of you, don't have it on mind that because your marriage is not working out, then you are used, going to use the children as pawn to get at each other. Do you understand me? Yeah, no. That's what it always These are your biological children. You brought them to the world. When you were both honey, honey, you brought those children. So, make it still, and even if it's not really, you have to, you just have to learn to tolerate each other for the children's sake. That's just it. Nobody can force the two of you to stay married to each other. He has already turned him Especially so. if you are alleging domestic violence and the two of you have actually sat down together to agree that this cannot work and you both want to move on. No problem. 
But the only thing tying you together right now is the children. And the welfare of the children is always paramount to the court. So that's it. So, okay, but right now, I cannot afford private school. Due to the that I took from my office to establish her. So, which school are the children now? Uh, my first child will be promoting to primary one after this uh, third time exam. So she, she's not in any school. You're just going to no, go for a school. No, they are still going to their former school. Their former school. Are you not the one paying at that former school? Were they attending public school then? No. So That's suddenly, it. because you are not in good time with that, they deserve to go to public well, school. That. I've been telling her for now. That see, see what's happening. See what, see what I'm hearing right now. What okay. you're hearing? Exactly. And you have another wife that you are transferring money to. Um. I'm earning 22,000 right now. Paddy? 22,000. That's my take home for now. My total salary is around 100,000. But I've taken loan just to you know, put the house in order and to establish ourselves. Establish ourself. So, what I'm taking home is just 22,000. Uh, and I can see she's, she cannot help in, 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 in any aspect. I've been helping you since. What do you used to do except school fees and house rents? Who is doing the feeding and school snacks, everything? Feeding. Who is paying lesson fee? Feeding. Who is paying lesson fee? You that when you Imagine. when you're already drunk, you won't remember to drop money in the house. Do you used to buy food stuff in the house? If you are going to buy food stuff, you buy one pint of rice, only rice. No beans, no garry, nothing, nothing. There is witness. People can bear witness to this. Where we used to buy food stuff. Okay. Well, you know what? Okay. Do you know what? All these facts that you are referring to, I'm not interested. I'm only interested in the welfare of the children, of the marriage right now. So that's what we're addressing. For the school fees, I saw what you wrote. You are making proposal of paying 70% of the school fees and for her to pay 30%. Is that not what you said? Yes. That's what you wrote there. And what about the feeding? On monthly basis, I'll be giving them 10,000. For two children. That's what I can afford. When you were at home, how much was it giving you then? It doesn't how much were you giving her when she was in the house? When, when everything was fine. Mm -hmm. I used to buy food stuffs and they cook. So I give them money when I have money. Okay, so it's like put stuff in the house. Not as if you give every month. You just bring stuff to the house. Okay. So that's five thousand naira per child for a month. She part. She just parts. What else? How about clothes? Clothing? They easily. They easily outgrow. You can buy that sure. and the I shoes. Buy at, at, at he has never done it before since I gave back to them. Hmm? Swear by your God. Uh, he gave me money to buy baby items. He has never done it. It's only once, and that was two years ago, that I dragged him down. And this is December. But you have never. You have never. When did you start working? When did I start working? Yes. Before I married you, am I not working? You said it yourself. I'm a makeup artist. But due to your jealousy, you said I used to travel for work. This, we can have bridal works. We do travel for bridal works. You said you are not convenient. You cannot, I, maybe I'm not going for work. I'm going to see different men. You have to stop me. That I should yeah. go and learn another work so that I will be staying at home, which I did. I agree with you. And the shop, you said the open. Did you open or we opened it? Which one? The shop. The makeup shop. How did we open it? I didn't contribute to the shop. How? Even this new shop that you rented, I didn't contribute. How? Did you pay all the bills? You know what? You can call the landlord. I will give you dollars. You pay for the shop. I break. transferred money from my accounts. I didn't, I didn't say. Don't say you didn't pay out of. She said she everything. She said the two of you paid. I for. paid everything. I transferred everything. money from my accounts. I'm not talking about the shop rent. What about the machine? Everything inside the shop. Which man? Okay, fine. I bought two machines. You bought two machines. You bought yes. one industrial machine. One industrial I used the naming money to buy the second one. One industrial and one manual, which is well, two. all this goes to no issue right now. The rug, the rug in your, in your in your shop. Samson. The fan. 
Samson, I'm talking uh, to you. It was what we are using the formula. Will you keep quiet? We're talking about the children. And I said earlier on, you've both agreed to move on. True. So you are just referring to the past. We're talking about the future, present and future. That's what I'm interested in. Where the children are concerned. The medical bill comes to you. I have, the a, I have a HMO. You have a HMO. Perfect. So that is it. So you go, you undo that. Then for the feeding, they're talking about 5,000 naira per 10, 5,000 naira per child. It's a bit low. How much are you looking at? Maybe like 20. 20, no. Can you go for 15? No, I cannot cope. You cannot cope? Presently. Presently. I my take home presently just 22,000. My husband will be expiring by um, June. When did you set up the business for her? How long ago? That was last uh, March. That was last year, March. So how much are you paying by installment from? I mean, how much I did deducting? 30,000 per month. How much? 30. 30. Okay. You know, you are aware of that. I am aware of that. You are aware of that as well. So I suggest that for but now. He said the salary is 100,000. If they are deducting 30,000 here, the bar, and he has a shop, a dry cleaning shop. So if daddy doesn't you, never you didn't mention that before. But well, you had another source of income apart from the salary. Paddy? It's not functioning. Huh. <laughs> you look, it's a new place. We're talking hey. about your children. It's, Do you understand? It's a new look, place. Wait, it's not wait. a new place. If I, if you are not paying. Are Listen to me. When I'm talking, you keep quiet. The accommodation, are you going to pay for that? You are not. Who is going to pay for that? Your children are there. And what the law says is, wherever you must provide shelter for those children, even if you are not living together, even if you were never married. The law says, you must provide shelter. And I've shifted that to her. The way I'm saying this now, it seems as if uh, we have agreed on something and probably I couldn't meet up. You've agreed before? Mm. Have you agreed on that before? You just said you were paying their school fees and giving them monthly allowance. Since last I didn't get that. Since last day, I've been the only one paying for their school fees and I'll keep. And he's there taking another woman up and down. Let me see that. <laughs> okay, let me see. <laughs> That was a chat between me and the lady. Like three of them like that. You said you'd not have me, man. You even have the gun to send me scan and a uh, test report. You said you'd not have me. You don't know about all the screenshots of your chat on my phone. Well, the bottom line is, I'm not going to say anything about this because it's overtaken by events. They are no longer, you've agreed to both move on. If you're still a couple that married together and you are still living together, you have not agreed to move on. Do you understand me? Then it becomes an issue. Because this is a chat between Different girls. I think one is even pregnant there. Yes. I can see it. She's pregnant. She's taunting her in the conversation and everything. But if your challenge now is because somebody else is pregnant and you're expecting another child, is that so? No. It's not so. The, Nobody is pregnant is for you. About, I was with an ordinary friend, not a girlfriend. And she's even late now. She's late now. She's late. She's late. She died last year, December. Is she not late? I don't know. <laughs> How would I know? Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to give my judgment. You have to... Did you introduce her to me as your wife? So how would I know if she's Just late or not? You have Just to... Just a friend. The ah. school fees. Because I need to... We, 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 hold on. Just hold on. Because we're going to round up this matter now. 
George Fumi helps both parties to reach amicable settlement. After the break, George Fumi rules. The school where they are, you've been paying the school fees there. You keep on paying the school fees to the school directly. If it defaults, you come back to the court. That's for the school fees. On the shelter, you provide shelter, accommodation for the children. Mm. When it comes to the, to the upkeep, it's subject to review every time. You can always, either of you can come back for review. Him, you can come. You can come. You can approve the court for review. But for now, for the two children of the marriage, you'll be paying 15,000 Naira. Hmm. Then you, whatever other things, you subsidize because I know 7,500 cannot feed a child in a month. So you, you two, you subsidize. That's my job. You know. All right. Next nice teacher, as in, I have, one thing, I have one thing to say. I want to say something. What's that? Can I change the children's, the children's school? I think the food is okay. Why not? It's just the welfare of the children. So you just bring the names. You bring them, then we get we get across and we find out. And we, we come to a conclusion. If it's changed but, their school, it has to be very close to where I will be staying. You know, for now, the issue now is like, for now, you have not gotten accommodation. Yes. That's why I said you have to quickly do that. Get to school, go around, look for alternative school if you want to change their school. And you both agree so that based on that, she can look for accommodation within that environment so that there's no. Is that okay by you? Okay. Thank you. Addition to my reading. Follow the conversation on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Have you been cheated or have a dispute and want justice? Don't take laws into your hands. Log on to www.thejusticecourt.com and submit your case.